small snacks to welcome you. In the smoke, you're gonna have a scallop starter from uh, Freya and a cucumber that has a pickle and a horseradish cream. In front of you, you're gonna have a pulled pork croquette, pork from Valdres in the mountain outside from Oslo. And you will finish with a small tartlet made with uh, scry tartar and it's the first zucchini from the French Riviera. A glass of champagne here to start off your evening if you want to go for the traditional Blanc de Blanc. If you should start with the Tatin Chier, the Pré Le Grand Cru, Paul Rocher from 2012. Or we should do the Grand Cycle from Laurent Pirier, the top wine here, at least 10 years of aging in the cellar. Just a small amuse bouche before to start. You're gonna have a poached egg yolk made with a sherry roots espuma, some smoked duck gizzard, and a tarragon oil. Please. Chablis Grand Cru uh, Valmure from uh, Moronodo, 2017, from Burgundy in France. You will start your tasting menu with our beef tartar made with a Norwegian beef, made with a Leuron from Calix in Sweden, a smoked egg yolk cream and a cress ice cream. Bon appétit. We're gonna continue with the langoustine from Freya, just under the Lofoten Island. Our chef finish your dish with a sorrel espuma. Laurent Pirier from 2008, so the millisimi here, 12 years old, but still very, very fresh champagne. Now you're gonna continue with the oyster, cook en cocotte, uh, oyster from Nutteroy, in the southwest of Norway, made with some green tea, cucumber, and our Gastro Unica Gold Caviar, which is a Bayeri Caviar from Belgium. They use a sturgeon a little bit more older. That's why they can say it's a gold caviar. But For your next wine, you're having Hyde and Divillain, an American family combined with the very famous French family for the Carnaval Chardonnay from 2016. Here we have the next serving, which is the Miranda tomato from Sardinia in Italy, king crab from Finnmark, Iranian saffron sauce, and uh, platinum caviar from Gastronica. For your next wine, we're gonna use legendary Egon Müller from Mosel in Germany. His Wildlinger Baumkrupp Riesling from 2018. We're going to continue with the Hamachi from the north of Denmark, from Hensholm, exactly, which is an aqua farm. We continue this dish with a peanut, some wild rice, and soya vinaigrette made with some ginger. Bon appetit. For your next one, you're having Abstract by Orange Swift Cellars from 2017 from Napa Valley in California. You're gonna continue with the escalope de foie gras, just pan fried foie gras from Perche in France, made with a cashew nuts puree, some red beetroots, and we just finish your dish with a long pepper sauce. So, your next wine, Sarge Laurent, their Cote Rotier from de commencer par l'art d'Igasna, Saint-Mont de Touraine, Chaours, terminé sur le comté. Avant de partir sur le sucré, vous allez pouvoir rincer votre palais avec un cosmopolite. The Paul Rocher, rich demi here for your next dish. 
35 grams sugar per liter left here, but still a very, very balanced Demisec champagne, of course. It's the newest champagne in the Paul Rocher range. The way they balance it is incredible compared to other wineries where they get too sweet or too dry, but these guys just named it. La pomme Chanteclair, réalisée sur un strudel avec un espuma ricotta teint et un sorbet au vinaigre de pomme. Très bonne dégustation. Our last dessert we go Magnum for a Riesling Spätlässe from Germany by AJ Adam from 2017. Notre interprétation du cheesecake, ruby chocolate, verbena crumble and a lychee sorbet. Last dessert one here, we go for Quince de Noval, they're a 20-year-old tawny pot. They're fresh, fruity and sweet at the same time. Now you're gonna have the Mayan Calendar, which is uh, our dessert with two types of chocolate, Guanara chocolate and Kidavoa chocolate, which is a double fermented chocolate with banana, passion fruit and Tahitian vanilla. Enjoy. Le cannelé bordelais avec vanille de Tahiti. 